Hold it right there. You've been on my trail for two days now. You a lawman? No. Bounty hunter? Yeah. Get down. This side. Hands high. How long have you been looking for me? It's been two months since I left Del Rio. Del Rio? Don't worry, you're not wanted there. I picked up a poster on you up north. Yeah. Well, mister, I'm gonna give you a break. A break you don't deserve. Start walking. Wait a minute. In Del Rio, you know a man named Bert Saunders? He has a ranch there, a son named Frank. I know him. How's he making out? Not too good. He hurt himself bad last year. How bad? Fell during a stampede. By the time I left Del Rio, they didn't know he was going to live or die. Real shame about... Thing to try. I was born a fool. I was a fool to take out after you in the first place. Bert Saunders, you know him well? He's my brother. No. Well, then you might be right in the Del Rio to ask after him, mightn't you? Might be. Could you put in a mention of me? I got me a wife there. I'd, I'd like her to know I was thinking about her. What's your name? Esky. E-S-K-Y. I'd be obliged. From out of the West, Dick Powell's Zane Gray Theater. Tonight's star, Barry Sullivan. That left front shoe is loose. Uh huh. Yeah, this won't take long. I understand Bert Saunders has a small spread not far out of town. How do I find it? Well, Bert's spread used to be the first one east of town. Used to be? Yeah, uh, Sam Connors bought it from Bert's boy, Frank, just shortly after the funeral. Oh. You friend of Bert's? Not a very good one. Where can I get a drink? Right across the street. Hotel, bar, restaurant, all right there together. Sheriff, it just isn't fair. Now, never you mind, Miss Sally. It's the third time this week he's caused trouble. Look, Sheriff, I didn't start that fight. I told you it was him. He insulted me. Frank was just trying to protect me. I thought I told you to ride out of town, cowboy. Move on. Yes, sir. Let's go. Oh, Sheriff, do you call this justice? I thought you were a fair-minded man. Sheriff, will you listen to me? Nice, quiet town. Oh, we don't have much trouble. Frank there's caused a lot lately, ever since his pa died. Frank? Tall blonde boy, Frank Saunders. Took it pretty hard. Ended up selling the ranch last month. What'll it be? I'll come back for it. You just cool off, Frank. Maybe I'll let you out in the morning. You might as well go on back, Sally. What can I do for you? That boy you were arrested, what's the charge? Disturbing a piece? I'd cover it, I guess. What's the fine? What's your interest in this? I used to know the boy's father. Well, he's better off in jail. I teach him to hold that temper of his. You make the laws here as well as enforce them? 
There's got to be a fine, or what is it? Well, disturbing the peace, $20, I guess. I want a receipt. Thank you, mister. Clinton. Clinton? Haven't we met somewhere before? Have you ever passed through Del Rio? No. Here. I let Frank out. You got business in Del Rio? No, I'll be moving on as soon as I get something to eat. Any law against eating? So long as it's not stolen beef. across the street. The least. El Paso. That's where we met in El Paso. I don't think so. Oh, I hardly ever forget a face. You must have a very crowded memory. You going inside? Care to buy me a drink? You don't talk much, do you? I spend a lot of time alone. Where do folks eat around here? First class restaurant, right in there. Well, here's to you, mister. Clinton. I think I'll go upstairs and freshen up a bit. Don't go away. Another? No, I'll be riding on soon. Oh, one other thing. Family named Esky live in this town? Well, yeah. Where can I find Mrs. Esky? I have a message for her about her husband. <laughs> you funny, mister? You know Mrs. Esky. What? Sally Esky. You was just talking to her. <laughs> hey, your name Clinton? That's right. You paid my fine. Why? I was a friend of your pa's years ago. I'm much obliged. I guess you could use a drink. Thank you. You broke? I can buy it, if that's what you mean. I hear you sold your pa's ranch. Look, mister, it was my ranch. Mine to work or mine to sell. I sold. No offense, just asking. Actually, I didn't have much choice. The time Paul died, we were in debt to half the town. Bank, the store. Couldn't you have worked it out of debt? I was trying to. These wolves wanted their money then, not later. Uh, maybe you didn't twist their arms enough. They gave you the credit once, didn't they? Gave it to my pa. Me, I uh, reckon they... Uh, who knows what they thought. Banker said you were wild. Man who runs the store said you never come to any good, and practically everybody said they couldn't understand you anyway. Mister, you've been doing a lot of listening. You're not the first young fellow who's been talked about like that. Well, I guess maybe they're right. I don't think I was cut out to be a ranch in the first place. Sure, a lot faster ways to make it than that. Like what? Almost anything, I reckon. You're just sort of prospecting around right now, is that it? I've been thinking some moving on, trying another town. Lately, I ain't so sure. They tell me your friend's married. Husband's away a lot. She gets lonesome. I feel better now. Honey, this here's a fella bailing me out. I know. And there's a little favor Mr. Clinton can do for me. Frank, honey, would you go get my purse? I think I left it at the sheriff's office. All right. Ain't you coming? You said something about taking a walk. Well, we will. Later. You go over there and take a look now, and uh, I'll be right along. Please, Frank? All right. About that favor you mentioned. Well, I think we can talk better in my room. It's more private there. I don't know what you've got on your mind, lady, but I'm going there to get something to eat, and then I'm riding on. Oh, Mr. Shannon. I thought I recognized that face, but I had to go upstairs and check through my husband's things to make sure. 
Now, do we go upstairs to my room and talk, or do I go across the street and have a little chat with the sheriff? Welcome to my corral, Mr. Shannon. I see your husband collected a lot of these. Do you remember all the faces? No, but yours was on top. Charlie showed it to me before he left. Any face worth 1500 well, uh, that I can remember. Oh, that's Charlie's. He called it my future, along with the posters. Said they were going to get me all the money I needed. Well, this thing's got us a past. That's old, rusty. So is Charlie. Oh, he bought a new one last year, but uh, nothing else changed. No, Clint, the gun I need is in your holster. I see. What about your husband? Forget him. You know, this is really funny. He's up north chasing you, and you're right here with me. I'll tell you something even funnier. He's dead. I killed him. Charlie never was a good man, Hunter. Charlie never was really good at anything. He died thinking about you, wanting you to know. Now I know. Sorry, I can't cry, but that's the way it was between Charlie and me. But with us, it can be different. So what have you got in mind, lady? little bank across the street. Mm, not interested. Oh, don't let the size fool you. There's at least $10,000 in that bank. Cattle money. Left here to be shipped back to the ranchers by stage. And the stage doesn't leave till tomorrow at noon. Frank turned you down. No, Frank didn't. He likes me. But why send a boy to do a man's job when the man's right here? If I don't agree, you show that poster to the sheriff. You'll agree, Clint. My arms are soft. A lot softer than a rope. Feels good, Clint. Feels right, you and me. We're gonna make lots of money together. Lots and lots and lots. You think an awful lot about money, don't you? Maybe that's why your husband took up shooting men in the back. Now he's dead, you can't even spare a few tears. Why talk about Charlie? You killed him. I didn't. I wonder about that. Where are you going? To get some supper and then a room. It's been a busy day. Don't forget, I still have that poster. Can't you sell your own horse? I'm staying over tonight. I want to bet it down. I say you sell up and get. I don't like nobody moving in on my property. Sally, she's not your property. She's open range.
boy. I'm no preacher. I'm not the one to give you advice. But you need some sense knocked into you. I might as well try. Sally's your property, huh? You even thought about robbing a bank to get her money, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. She's been after you to hit that bank across the street. You loco. You are. To even think of pulling a full stop like that. And believe me, I know. What's the matter, mister? You on the run? Yes, I have been. Off and on for about 15 years. Now look, kid. You don't know me, you don't like me, but you listen to me. This is my only friend. I eat with it, I sleep with it, and more than that, I even talk to it sometimes, hiding out in some godforsaken canyon. Once you use this, you're tied to it, and there's no separation. It's a lonely life of running, hiding, always moving on. And all that goes with you is this. A lonely gun for a long, lonely trail. And that's all Sally can promise you for sure. You think about it. Heading for his horse. Yeah, come on inside. You're loaded. This is all right. He make one move toward that bank. We got him. Yeah, right in the back. Now you listen to me, Sheriff. Sally was right. You and me, we can't go up against Clint Shannon head on. And besides, your job is to protect that bank and keep us both from getting killed. I know, I know. I'm just hoping Sally's wrong. Hope he doesn't come near that bank. Hope he just rides on. Oh, well, I don't. Why do you suppose he came here in the first place, Sheriff? Besides, if he rides out, we won't get no reward money. You and Sally can split that reward. I get paid by the town for my killing. Is this thing gonna work? As soon as you see a commotion in the street, that's when you start for the bank. What kind of ruckus you gonna cause? Never mind that. You just concentrate on the bank. I'll make sure that a crowd gathers on the other side. Now, will you go on? Huh? Good morning. Goodbye. Oh, no, Clint, not goodbye. You're not leaving. No more games, Sally. No more talk, no more deals. This is no game. You're going to walk out of here ahead of me, and you're going to walk right toward the bank. You sure bet on getting me to that bank, aren't you? I mean it, Clint. Start walking. Nope. I'm riding out of town. I'm warning you, Clint. If I have to, I'll shoot you myself. With that gun? It's old, Sally. Rusty. Probably won't even fire. It's good enough to kill you. If you want to kill so badly here, I'll let you... Don't touch that. Suit yourself. I swear I'll shoot. Goodbye. I can't see what it was. We'll stay here. Maybe a trick. What happened? She tried to fire an old gun that blew up. She's dead. You can't stop me!
he got a chance? He hasn't come to, so I can't tell. Either way, he hasn't got much of a future. One thing I want to say to you, Frank. That was a brave thing you tried to do out there. Hmm? Don't stop Shannon. I saw the whole thing. Yeah. Mighty brave. Except you got it wrong, Sheriff. It was me that had it into Rod Bad Bank. Frank, that bump on your head made you groggy. No, I think it put some sense there. He was trying to help me. He tried to stop me when you shot him. Don't you understand? It was me. Well, now, you... You kind of complicated things, boy. I've got to find out how to arrest you for walking towards the bank. As far as I know, there's no such crime. Frank, you'd better come over to my office. I'll patch up that cut. Oh, Frank. Dropped out of your holster when you fell. You keep it, Sheriff. I don't think I'll be needing it anymore. I'm sorry, Shannon. I had no way of knowing. I've got a feeling it was worth it. trail for two days now. You a lawman? No. Bounty hunter? Yeah. Get down. This side. Hands high. How long have you been looking for me? It's been two months since I left Del Rio. Del Rio. Don't worry, you're not wanted there. I picked up a poster on you up north. Uh, mister, I'm going to give you a break. A break you don't deserve. Start walking. Wait a minute. In Del Rio, you know a man named Bert Saunders? He has a ranch there, a son named Frank. I know him. How's he making out? Not too good. He hurt himself bad last year. How bad? Fell during a stampede. By the time I left Del Rio, they didn't know whether he was going to live or die. Real shame about Bert. That was a fool thing to try. I was born a fool. I was a fool to take out after you in the first place. Bert Saunders, you know him well? He's my brother. No. Well, then you might be right in the Del Rio to ask after him, mightn't you? Might be. Could you put in a mention of me? I got me a wife there. I'd, I'd like her to know what I was thinking about her. What's your name? Esky. E-S-K-Y. I'd be obliged to... From out of the West, Dick Powell's...